What's up, ladies and gentlemen? We are back from Muscle Island. This is the best podcast on the app. I am the Graphic Gangster. That is Small Arms Danny. And from the kitchen table, Mr. Corey G. Yes, sir. We are back from Muscle Island. I am the guy with the island, your boy Corey G. And that was a lot of fun. Danny, I'm going straight to you. Going straight to me. What are your first thoughts about the Muscle Island event in general? Well, for uh, for starters, I still have an arm pump. <laughs> if you are wondering, uh, that rep progression really. You're looking got... small in the salty da- dog cafe shirt. Well, I'm in that comfort wearing. colors, homie. Yeah, yeah. I, I was sizing down on Friday though. Size obviously, down. please size down. Um, yeah, I mean the open workout was pretty pretty epic per usual. Open workout was really fun. Um, there's so much. Except for me and Treadwell getting jammed on. <laughs> Was, there were some motherfuckers hit the ceiling. It looked like, yeah, yeah, anyway, it was fun though. That was entertaining. Yeah, um, man, it's hard to go first um, with this one, but uh, I mean, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> um, Damn. But I, I don't even know where to start. I mean, just like so many inspirational conversations and moments, like throughout the entire day, starting at the gym, and then just seeing it come together during the week, starting on Wednesday when we were out there, mm-hmm. and like being like. It changed a lot last it changed, week. Changed a lot in seventy-two hours, um, and then just the four boats thing coming together, and then people getting off the boat onto the barge. Cole checking them in. Cole getting yelled at. Um, <laughs> you know, um, and then just seeing everything flattened out, all the tables, and then the once the music started and everyone kind of settled in and walked through the house and everything, it's it started to really turn up a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I think. I don't even know who really sticks out to me, but necessarily, but I was telling you that like all the, your one-on-one people, that's kind of where I kind of naturally started. Mm. Um, but just hearing everyone's story, everyone had their own unique perspective on like why they were there. Um, yep. and you can kind of feel that on everyone. And it was good to just see people you haven't seen in a while, you know, shout out DM. Um, you know, yeah. That, Mark Evans DM always rocking the white Kangle. Love um, it. I kind of wish he would came to the open workout. That would have been, yeah, a yeah, pretty yeah. cool throwback. Um, but that was cool. Um, you know, getting a shout out from Morgan, you know, when I, you know, I was responsible for getting her guitar and then I so called good. a, you she know, a capo, a caper. More people so called cool. him small arms than ever. Yeah. Actually that fun fact, that was the <laughs> most I've ever been called small arms in a 24 hour. Was period. there anyone who called you Danny? No, it was literally just small arms. You just cut it. <laughs> yeah, we have awesome. one, everybody. We have one. That's yeah. awesome. I was like the small arms now guy. Um, so Morgan killed it with the with the yeah. music and everything. Uh, Matt Keeney, he obviously killed it too. Um, food with, was amazing. With the food. That's obviously no easy task being like not really sure how it's going to go or how many people are going to come through the line. So um, we just talked about what the next event's going to be. So that's even more exciting. Um, and then we have the survey responses coming in because we want you to share your experiences so you can so we can you know, project that out so everyone else can see what they missed, obviously. Um, so yeah. What do you Tyler, go sit by Danny, uh, in Cole's <clears throat> secondary desk and grab the mic real quick. I want to hear Tyler's fee- uh, feedback right. on just yeah. the event. And now uh, on the mic, just Tyler daddy. Yeah. Right, yeah. Hey, just before Tyler speaks, I want to give a huge shout out and basically congratulations for Tyler for really like leading the show and putting yes. this together. Like he fucking deserves a ton of credit. So I just want to publicly say Facts. that Tyler fucking killed this and he's the man. Yeah. I would, I want to secondary that before Tyler speaks that the, he is by definition, the operations dude. Right. But operationally it was so legit that we all felt it. Like, I felt like, and I know he felt like we were missing something because it was so handled like, cause it was so fucking smooth. Um, so I'm really proud of just the whole team, how it's executed. But Tyler definitely led the charge on that entire thing. Tyler, talk about the event. Well, thanks guys. Um, thanks for having me on here. And, um, yeah, I mean, ultimately it was, it was a really fun event, you know? Um, and we really loved having all the people back. A lot of the folks that came were, um, were here for the very first subscriber event. So that was, that was awesome to see everyone back again. But I mean, I appreciate the 
the the good word, but I mean, I certainly wasn't the guy that spent all the money and, and the prowess to, to build this thing. But We wouldn't even been anywhere close to having a party, Tyler, if you were helping. <laughs> that was good, man. There's so many people to, to thank for the contribution, but like G said, I mean, thanks to all the team, everybody helping, check people in, just all it's things that seem so simple, but really make the process so um, stupidly smooth that people don't even understand that they're like walking through a step-by-step yeah. process. You know, they're just, they're there, they're pulling up by boat to, um, to the Island and they're pretty enamored with how beautiful everything was. The weather was great. It's like peak fall right now in Ohio. So we got lucky with that. It was, it was good, man. Everybody helped. With Tyler, what stuck boats. out, obviously you've been working on this project with me since day one, what stuck out or was there a time during the process? Cause obviously you were still mostly working as both all of us were at some capacity, like that you like took a second and went, Oh shit. It's really at this point. Cause it feels like it's been kind of a crazy push for now 15 months, which mm-hmm. we accomplished a lot in 15 months. But was there a time where you took a deep breath or was that more today when you were out there? Yeah. Well, I would say two parts of that for sure, because, um, the initial run, although we had other drivers and things for the boats, I was still kind of helping a couple of the guys get their bearings on, uh, making sure they felt comfortable driving. And it took a couple, couple hours with people showing up early, had some stragglers toward the end. So I would say the first part of that was, uh, once we got everyone out there, because we had to run from the, you know, the state park and pick everybody up when waves at the dock. And then, but once we got everybody there by water and, and, uh, you know, Cole was like, I think we checked everybody off the list here and everyone was eating and settled in and everything that felt good. Cause I was like, all right, I'm, I'm not on a boat. I'm not running back and forth. I can be here and just take a step back and watch everybody mingling, look at the house all lit up. People, the DJs going, uh, people were playing games. So like that was the first one. But then honestly, I felt like we looked up and all of a sudden it's Monday again, the we had the event it was a success and then a new week started and then we went out you know the last couple of days and i'm like all right we we had the first event you know and it yeah but yeah on the front and the back side of it it was it was good yeah cool cool yeah uh you know i thought the first event was awesome which it was and this event was really awesome but this one with so many people still felt like a family gathering it yeah. felt like a family party even with people traveling from all across whoever, a lot of people that you see online that you're just now meeting for, for the first time. But in, in just watching all those people who have never interacted with each other, be around each other, yeah. I literally felt like I knew, you know, mostly everyone and I've never talked to them in my life. But it's amazing how you can just go up to someone random, talk to them, and you already know that there's something in common because whatever in life has brought you to this community and stuff, you have something in common with them. So I thought it was awesome to hear everyone's experience, um, you know, just with what the brand means, how their life has changed and stuff like that. And it was just, it was just fucking awesome. And I don't think there's any other place you can get that. There's no, I would say a a team locker room is about the closest you can get with that, with all types of people. But like for this to happen now, at these stages of life, like it, it was fucking sick. Like it was truly awesome. I think what you felt Cole and I think everyone felt this but they had a hard time putting their their finger on it initially is that you've got an entire group of all like-minded people that are all just trying to get better right and have all been drawn at different times of this process whether it's the old mp days or max effort or this most recent push or from morgan whatever it is right you're mixing all of these worlds of people from all over the country and all ages and all demos and all backgrounds but the like, like like-minded in commonality of they want to get better and they're there to be around a community that's going to kind of like help shepherd that. So that's why it feels like amazing because you can literally talk to anybody mm-hmm. and they're all super nice and they all have their story. And I think this is a component that we've like maybe underestimated in the last few years because we didn't really realize that people obviously definitely want that and or need it as do we. I think because as impactful as it is for the person that's here experiencing something that really is pretty common for us at this point, the reality is it gives us gas because we see how it impacts them to keep building and coming up with the next idea and the next, and I said it on my, on my story, like the impact is the sauce, like hearing these stories and seeing people like hopefully go home and then saying, what am, what am I going to build? even if I have a, a main job, like what else can I be doing that could build and be positive and, you know, um, and what more can I learn? And 
I just think like I even texted um, Arnold's guy Ketchell and Patrick both and sent him pictures of the event and said like my main idea was I was trying to make people feel how I felt when I went there because I was so excited. The events were always, you know, pretty exclusive, unique. You just felt like you knew you were clearly around outlier people and that you were in like an area that a lot of people aren't. And I would argue that this is the exact same thing in our own way. And I think honestly, everything exceeded my expectation from a standpoint of how good the island what like was by that point, how much the landscape and the house and like the weather, the way we executed, it was, I don't know, it almost kind of like so surreal that it was kind of hard to really recognize, but it was, it was really great. I was super proud of all of our guys. And I'm getting to know all of you guys a lot better, as are all of us. And as you help us bring more people to the community, I'll give my dedication that this will be how it continues. It doesn't matter how big this gets. Like, we're dedicated to do these continued things. And if we have to have multi-days or whatever we got to do, we will do it. But we really want to serve an intimate group of people that want to get better. And so I'm not concerned with having a hundred thousand fucking subscribers. We don't need all that. I want to have a couple thousand people that really want to get better. And we're here to help that and give you truly not only the results, but help you understand the lifestyle. And then I think this experience and community piece is second to none in the industry. It's truly a lifestyle membership. So I'm super proud of all of it. It's cool. Um, I was going to say, I have like two or three of these, uh, sure. experiences that Please. might be cool to share. Um, all right. So the minute you walk into old school, you know, you're someplace special having the max effort crew plus the mafia makes it so special. Then the insane Island meetup was the icing on the cake. The experience on muscle Island was nothing I've ever done. Nothing like I've ever done from the food to DJ to Morgan Wade performing live. Where else are you going to get that once in a lifetime opportunity? So that was one <laughs> that right there. The, so the Pretty insane at, yeah. meetup when somebody says it like that, like that was what we're trying to create an insane experience where, you know, that only we could put this together, whether it's forward thinking relationships, execution of the property and the logistics and the ideas like that is us. That's max effort. That's, that's exactly how I wanted people to come away and think, you know, that they're inspired for their version of whatever it is to get, you know, incrementally better. So I love hearing that. Go ahead, Danny. Um, all right. Number two, I've been in the fitness world for 20 years and this was a one of a kind experience. I've been a fan of Morgan for years and when she joined forces with Max Effort, I joined the mafia and was so excited for the event. Traveling by myself and not knowing anyone made me nervous, but everyone was so kind and welcoming. I love the energy and met some great people. I can't wait to continue to be a part of the mafia. So. That's re that's really cool because that's someone that had no bearings about us prior right. to being a Morgan fan. That's also into fitness, so that makes me feel really good because there is going to be a lot of people that are looking for a community like this and clearly know no one. And she obviously wasn't even on the app, so most of you guys are on the app and kind of at least know who people are. Like she's coming in blind and then was received, and and it was positive. Like that makes me feel really good. Mm -hmm. Next. Um, all right. And then a third one, uh, getting to be a part of the mafia is the most unique experience. It really is a family. The muscle Island experience is like nothing I've ever done. It was one of the best nights I've had in a long time, beginning to end. Can't wait for the next event. Also, you can't beat the supplement deals and all the free gifts you get exclusively, exclusively for subscribers. I've tried other supplement companies in the past, but nothing and nobody can come close to max effort. Corey and the whole crew go out of their way to help and support every, everything you need. Tyler C. Lever, shout out, is also very supportive and actually cares about you and the company. I mean, that's like some mic drop shit. I don't know why you'd go anywhere else. That's what I'm saying. And if you maybe want to go against me and Treadway on two on two, this is your chance. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, uh, speak on that. When you're hearing that stuff, what's, what's, what's it feel like? Oh, it feels, it feels good. Um, but it, it just feels like, you know, that's the way it should be hearing things like that. It's like, that is the standard and it should be nothing less than that. That's what I think about is I want everybody to have a good experience. And, um, you know, and I think about this, like we're in a little miniature business district and we've had, uh, when, when I think about the, the mission of overall, like what's, what should someone's 
first and lasting impression be of everything that we're doing. I would want it to just be like pleasant and different, you know, and we've had people accidentally stumble in here before that weren't even customers and they come to the wrong, you know, where I'm lost, where do we go? And they say, you know, you, you helped me out and um, got me in the right direction and you guys are awesome. Thank you. And then they have ended up coming back here just because they were like, you know, I was here before and I was lost and I had no idea all this stuff was in here. And then they ended up, they end up staying with us, you know That's what I mean? Amazing. And so hearing stuff like that is I don't care if you're here to uh, pick up a to go order. Um, if you're here to lift, if you're here for the event and it's your first time, I just want everybody to feel welcome and feel like, you know what, I can be a part of this. And this is like my new crew. You know what I mean? So it's good That's to cool. hear that. It's good. Super cool. Cole weigh in on those, uh, on those testimonials real quick. Yeah, I mean, I think like what you always say, like that's the oxygen. Like that's like that. We're hearing that is literally why we do what we do. I think we all naturally want to help people to our best abilities. And now we've, you know, worked really hard to create something that can leave even more of a lasting impact. So I think this event, all the events we're going to continue to put on is something people's going to remember for the rest of their lives. So Max. and change a lot of people's lives. So I would say if you dedicated and came to each event over a year's period of time, I don't know how you could be the same. I just, I don't think it's possible. Like, especially with the amount that, you know, I'm going to leverage and all of us will leverage with our relationships to get impactful people here to pour, you know, and, and so you can learn and be around and experience things like, once again, it's like a lifestyle type of membership. So super excited about that and I remember Cole saying after the first event he's like just the conversations of like what people are you know how excited they are to be at the gym we're like head down a lot here really building this business and sometimes it's good to when we can share it with other people and them remind us of really what this place is and now adding Muscle Island too so um I don't know. I think it's one of them things we're going to be riding high for a little while. Mm -hmm. And is so excited about the next event that we're working on, um, which we will tell you about very soon when we lock in everybody. So uh, anything else, Daniel? AKA small arms. I don't believe so. Yeah. Um, I think we should probably put this up on YouTube and use it for emails. Yeah, for it's sure. It's really good. Yeah. Maybe I Kyle mean, can put in some cool like footage of like muscle island and like the workout so like when we're talking like we got some b-roll in that bitch yeah i mean it's not even too early to start mentioning i want apps i mean no. we're, we're literally two and a half months out from when the registration's yeah. gonna open I, we should definitely mention that those who uh came to the event got to see what the first uh, place prize is going to be so yeah definitely stay tuned for that yeah sure. we've been really working on like improving that process so yep. that's what we're doing right now so um <laughs> be on the lookout for a better more seamless process this year so as far as registering seeing the requirements all that good stuff so yep thanks for coming to muscle island and to the gym and support max effort and i always say this like tell all your friends but really tell all your friends because you got to experience it if you came here if you have fomo and you're watching i will see you at the next event i'm your boy Corey g that's small arms danny and the graphic gangster himself cole susak yeah, well, I was going to do the outro, but uh, <laughs> I you took already it did it. So uh, <laughs> if you like this episode, if you want to come to Muscle Island, come to Cool Events, register at maximummuscle.com. Uh, other than that, uh, stay swole. See you next week.